market and explain the different methods of recruitment. Uh, number two, we have a site and explain the different methods of selection. And number three, we have to give emphasis on the importance of job analysis in recruitment and selection. And we have number four, uh, give examples for each of the different types of questions in a structured interview. So, yeah, no, uh, all about recruitment and selection process and the uh, purpose also of the job analysis. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, I think I'm done giving to you the workbook in industries. Kaning industrial na ako namin nahatag niyan ng katagaan tama ng hapon o link. Ah, link kana. So it was already attached. Okay. So sa recruitment and selection class, niyan rin na the manpower is the most important asset of the organization. So of course, no, because without the manpower, ah, we cannot ah organize. So we can never be organized, or there there will be no ah organization that happens. So without their contribution of effort and organization can never achieve its goals. Yes, no, no, okay. Kung pananglitan, like for example, maring that o center industry, purora HR, o purora HR, purora mga purora mga si tawag anak kana bangga kana mga mintinan. So wala, no. So there is the presence of those people na kinahanglan para malambo ang usaka organization and to make the goals come true. So from the process of goal setting to the implementation, manpower, uh, manpower contributes much more, or we can say that without manpower, organization cannot survive. So tinuod yun, no? So gingon rin for effective use of power, uh, power, manpower, power plan, uh, proper planning should be considered. So number one, well, we have planning for placement, right person. So mauna itong gingon, no nga, uh, Usa kada kung sala no sa recruitment and selection process kung ikaw you are going to hire the the wrong person for ah the right position so it has to be ah in vertical with each other minung tag we we have to to hire the right person for the right position ah in that sense we are ah nakahambag tano sa sa organization na para dili madaku ang gasto because di ba previously sa tung discussion no kung Kanang lina ka organization is kanang dalit ra kay mo morisa na pas pas ang turn turn over sa mga mga tao ang resulta is mag magasto na po sila because they are going to find another person para sa position so mas madaku ang gasto as well as to kanang trainings so mo na sa mga as much as possible you are going to to gather suitable for the position. So at the right place for doing the right work and at the right time. Okay? So let's proceed with the recruitment. So an important step in selecting employee is recruitment. So from the word recruit, no, you're going to gather people. So attracting people with the right qualifications. So I know I know uh, as I mentioned a while ago. So now you agree ang recruitment process has uh, uh, two uh, one classifications. We have the internal recruitment and the external recruitment. So, sa internal recruitment, uh, way back, ang kaning internal recruitment class is uh, you're going to to hire people coming from within the organization. So, dia sa suit sa organization. Uh, what is the purpose? So later we will know, uh, we will know about the internal and external no ato nang ma, ma take up this obvious pero i i am pretty sure nakabalo no mo ana nga sa internal of course this is something that can boost the confidence of the employee wherein uh it gives opportunity to them for uh kaning gitawag nato career advancement and also professional development kay okay, ano uh, mo promote man sila So, kung ma-promote sila, meaning to say, maganahan sila mo trabaho, no? Kaya because there is an an opportunity for promotion. Pero pag five years na ka, niya, ten years na ka, niya, consistently you are performing well sa inyong trabaho, niya, wala ka na promote, so there might be something wrong with the uh, management system. So, aritas external, pero nalang siya positive and negative. Aritas sa uh, disadvantage sa internal recruitment, uh, you lose the opportunity opportunity to hire people uh, coming from a different different breed especially katong mga tao nga na mga talent no 
mga tao nga na yung mga other skills, no? more than just the, uh, the skills that uh, yeah, sa social organization nga na-acquire. So na may mga tao no, nga, grabe kayo, like for example, uh, may mga tao, mechanic ko. Ang imong ipangita is mechanic ko lang, no, nga mo kuhan o mintinan sa inyong sakyanan. Diya, sa tabahuan o niya. Uh, he can also perform, aside from mechanic ko, he can also drive and at the same time, he can also Ah, uh, kanabang pwede po siya no nga mag messenger siya no at the same time. So in ana ka wide ang kanindot ang sa sa external equipment. Pwede kaayo siya nga iyaha nga maka makapangita siya og tao no nga makaperform sa task. Nga daghan ang iyang skills or iyang mga talents. So let's move on no? to enhance employee morale and motivation. So as I mentioned, no? so however, if an organization always promotes employees from within, it runs the risk of having a stale workforce that is devoid of the many ideas that the new employees bring with them from previous employment set, uh, settings. Yes, that is pretty much it. No? That was really true. Why? Uh, so, sa ka organization, kung magsigi lang ta, diba, uh, are you still familiar with uh, the Peter Principle? So sa Peter Principle class, it is it is a manner no wherein uh, the organization keeps on sa man na keep uh, yung termi termi sa mahatag o promotion no sigi promote sigi promote pas pas ang promotion to the extent that the person can no longer perform the job kaya ano ang iyang job before is a different kind of job uh, like for example katong apun discussion gahapon no I mentioned nga kana nga Ang, ang usa ka empleyado sa sales yan assign sige siya sige siya katap permi sa sales now the question is um, is it reliable enough nga makasalig ba ta no nga atoa siya nga i-promote as a supervisor as sales supervisor so of course we can expect that uh, a sales supervisor oh yes tinood no tinood Dili you know? Dili kita kahatag og 100% assurance or even 70% assurance nga kanang tao is uh, maka-execute nagtarong sa iyang trabaho because to be a sales personnel is a different function from the supervisory level or sa supervisory nga position. So lahi gud. So to the extent nga magsikag promote sa tao nga wala pa siya ka cope up sa mga different nga mga wala siya ka cope up mo sa iyang different functions sa iyang iyang mga trabaho so dili na siya uh, matawag na to og kaneng uh, epektibo no dili na siya epektibo sa iyang position mo na nga uh, in in the manner of job analysis uh, coming from we we have to revisit na no, from time to time with the job analysis kay para uh, kita pod nga HR personnel or coming from the top management we will be guided on how to when to and how to promote employees so there, as you can see, sa ato ang uh, diagram, no, you can see the the process of recruitment. So of course, you have to identify the vacancy. So after identifying the vacancy, you can you are going to proceed with job analysis. So there, you can see both left and right. There is a job description and job specification. Job specification actually uh, explains or actually and uh, refers yeah about the human qualifications and the job description itself is about the duties uh what are the requirements in terms of the duties sa usa ka tao and uh, and so on no uh, about the environment how adaptable the person is nana no so there uh naibutan na communicating vacancy sa so communicating vacancy and then of course you are going the the the, the people uh coming from the organization coming from the different departments the the supervisor or unsa pa nang uh, uh, immediate superior diha no they are going to communicate on how to fill in that vacant position and where to get um, of course a budget to be provided for the person to be hired no if ever na uh, managing the response so with that coming from from murang gusto nga hug nga magsurihan is lakas no na sila na sila panel meeting after that uh, managing the response of course after that, no, nakakam up na sila o idea, naka, naka prepare na sila tanan. That's the time that they are going to plan for uh, to conduct, no, select 
selecting candidates. So, they are going to select candidates and then arranging interview. So, kanang selecting candidates, of course, in the normal process, mo natin gingo no nga, submit lang mo og resume, no? Kay para nga uh, appeal mo sa candidates. So, with that, ang trabaho usap sa HR, they are going to revisit. No? Ilang, ilang, ilang i-revisit ang 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 mga mga aplikante no yung tanawon dito ang mga qualifications because from the word select uh, it is a waste of time man sad nga iya nga iko ang tanan no iya nga entertain tanan even though even though nga kana ba nga dili kaayo napay mas uban no nga mas mas kuan kayo mas mas epektibo pa kayo no so mo na as much as possible kinahanglan Kenang lang imo sa nang hashasan, no? Kaya para dili ko malangay ang imong oras. So with that, mga nila recruitment methods. So these are the process of recruitment methods as as very popular to people. We have the newspaper ads, which is which can be found in the classified ads. So naibutang diya. Respond by calling. So applicants are asked to respond by calling when an organization wants to. Uh, either quickly screen applicants, just like for example, sa kaning call center, no? uh, you're going to send something in the my Nemo and then uh, manawag na sila Nemo, no? especially kana mga BPO nga mga mga jobs if if nakatry mo apply ana, so manawag na sila. So na po dili apply in person ads when they don't want their phones tied up, applicants calling, so want the applicants to fill fill out a specific job application or what to get a physical look at the applicant. So this is also very important. Kaya muram ko ni siya o kanang you are going to present yourself. Like for example, usa nga isang pala ni pwede ka mag-walk-in applicants. Kaning walk-in applicants, naiuban biya nga pasudlon ka sa office na ato lang na isubmit dito sa HR. So with that, na na sila idea how the person looks like and how the person actually dress up. Uh, naasa na sila guts class no on how to you know uh usay importante po kay na uh, we can never say nga dili siya relevant but that is very relevant also because ani mo guna sa sa human resource department whether you like it or not murag himo ko na siya nga practice ba nga uh, uh usahay magtan-aw po sila sa person on how the person actually take good care of himself or how the person actually dress up himself kay Bagaimana arah masa nasi mati masa kita kita tahu projection class about the person lah the personality of that person. So meaning, kong if that person looks kau mijo logo logo, mula sah sila kau ano be directly to the company, and then we have the blind box. So the four type of ad directs applicants to send a resume to a blind box. So, organization use blind boxes for three main reasons. Only the first, the organization doesn't want its name in public. So, na mga ingon ana, no? Second, the company might fear that people wouldn't apply if they knew the name of the company. And the third, uh, on Ono, uh, an organization, di siya ganahan nga i-publicize ang ilang name. Nga may ingon din tanong nga, maana din tanong nga, kanang unsa man din na siya nga kumpanya ha uh, baka, makita na ninyo diha kwa sa may nimo no na mga mga company diha nga mura ba og dili dili nila i dili dili nila i acknowledge ang ilahang name sa company no mura mahugos siya og kanang si tawag ana mo confidential siya ba kani sa second of course kanang gisla basin makabalo ang tao sa name sa company like for example if ka nang akumpani, gidaot na siya because they are not offering good compensations when it comes to salary, when it comes to benefits also, and the compensation itself, mura o ka na nga, ang mga tao, dili na ganahan mo apply diya. Ngayon, ah, ay na diya, kay bakti, kay na diya, kay dili, kay na sila, dili, they're not actually paying much, ka na bang, importance about the welfare of the people. So muna nga, usa na siya, no? Ang ikatulo, there might be na a person in the position yung ginahan nila taktakon. No, taktakon nung nagid nila. Na kanin pagtaktak, of course, if that particular person actually receives disciplinary action, yung mga nagpakita, kaya po siya, o kanabang, 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 ang iyang behavior, wala kaya po mag-change. So, of course, that's the time for them to look for another person to be 
uh, appointed no para a police ayaha so that is the reason for having blind box katulo we have the electronic media no diri uh, kagat ato sa ni accept si kaminadi eric kaminadi okay so balik ta class asa naman to so there is electronic media the potential advantage to using electronic media for treatment is that according to 2008 EPSOS OTX study Americans spend 3 to 4 hours so this is uh, by culture based no kay kanis American mga Americans for uh, aside from the internet aside from already the internet they are also spending much time in watching TV so dira no makita niya da, naka naka remember ba mo class nga na ay katong trabahanap.com nga gi-advertise sa TV. So, usa to siya, no? Usa to siya sa example ang electronic media. Uh, as well as also, kaning, when you are going to listen to the radio, so na ah, no? Mahatag sila og mga trabaho. That's an example of electronic media. Next, we have uh, situation wanted ads. So also called jobs wanted or possession wanted ads ads so are placed by the applicants rather by rather than by organizations the citation wanted us appear to be a useful way of looking for a job and given that they cost on organization any money so with that uh linkedin facebook and twitter so those are an example of situation wanted ads because uh uh, uh sa gisulti lang din no what is the advantage of Operation wanted ads kay ang ilang uh, purpose is para dili na kay sila madako og gasto ang organization dili na kay dako og gasto knowing that uh, there, there are lots of possibilities that the people would actually get into the uh, kana bang kana siya nga pan nga link or kana siya nga connection like example arita sa, sa Facebook and Twitter daghan may gitaw nga magpa ng Facebook no? and it is very popular to people. So, mas mapasayon siya. Okay? Ang, ang disadvantage ng ganiya is even though the people would know no, that they are not uh, kind of, um, qualified for the position, mo api katawagan, aw, dili. Dili na meant para to, ah, if tawagan ta, aw, swerte, you know, yun na ba? So, naapod siya yung mga, mga tigaw, no? Yung mga tigaw. Pero, Anyway, uh, at least no, your the the organization will not spend a lot of money for uh, conducting the recruitment method. So the point of purchase method. So we have this one uh, as part of the recruitment also. And based on the same pop advertising principles used to market products to consum uh, consumers. So for example, sa grocery, no. Uh, Ari na siya i-post the pizza kanang dagan maagian sa mga tao ba na yun as you push you port, uh, your cart to one aisle you see a, a special display of potato chips na in the next aisle a display of cookies for cookies when you get to check out stand items such as the National Enquirer candy and the batteries convenient na nakabutang dito na uh, na nakabutang dito na dito i-post para ang mga tao dali ra sila maka kita so the idea is to get you to buy more items you already in the store. Okay? So mo na siya gikuha nila gi gitaw kana gituyo na nila. So Let's proceed uh naging ano if employee recruitment job can see notices are posted in the places where customers or current employees are likely to see them so like the store windows bulletin boards restaurant place mask and the side of trucks na ano na even sa place that is an example of point of purchase method so makita siya dali sa mga tao okay so recruiters are a type of recruiters the person who will this is the person who is in charge for conducting the recruitment so they uh, they are at the same time be called as recruiters we have uh, campus recruiters, so many organizations send recruiters to college. So, kung nakahinom do mo, uh, before you graduated sa inyong uh, eskwilahan, na mga samua dito sa UC sa una before 
may mo at to dito no may mo at to sa campus para mag-introduce sa mga company like uh, shall we say Rafi no uh, Ramon Abuites Finance no Juan uh, organization na yung mga turito nga nag-hire sila og HR and then uh, mudawat sila og mga fresh graduates and also mga BPO company. So next, we had outside recruiters, private employment and recruitment activities. So whereas public employment agencies are operated by state and local public agencies and are strictly and profit. Kung saan nila outside the quarters, siguro kwas uh, na may, di ba, you're aware about diri sa ito, ano, sa itong munisipyo? Sa itong munisipyo, kanang ito, peso, peso office. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but, uh, kung ano siya, no, appeal, kanang mga peso office class, they're also helping the people in the community to find job. So, this is an opportunity for them to become also the a recruiter. Uh, kanang gitawag na ito, o Ano bang affiliate? Sakto kayo, no? Nga, may to talk also with the organizations, especially mga private organizations. So, with, in, the, in that sense, mas mapadali ang pagpangita o mga tao. Next, we have employee referrals. So, another way to recruit is by employee referrals. Of course, this is very famous, no? Uh, sagad gan ni Jerisa, kanigong government na uh, uh, mga agency kung ano uh, most of the time most likely is ang ilang ginagamit kanil yung referrals uh, this is also uh, gigamit po sa private but hili kayo siya kaya you know why uh, that is part of it siguro sa mga pro sa provision within the conflict of interest bawal yun na siya nga uh, namoy mga kaliwat dira, no? because gilantaw niha ang ang possibility ba nga mas dali ra maka you know uh, uh, siguro og nay panagbingkil ma madamay man gyud ang ang organization or else kung dili man panagbingkil if there is something wrong uh, wala mo ayo ni sa business uh, dako kay og posibilidad ng ang mga tao dali ra sila maka maka unionize na dali kay sila maka gather og uban nga tao maka influence because kuan naman sila daan na naman sila yung itawag o uh, connection. So, we have the internet no? continues to be a fast-growing source of recruitment. Inter uh, internet recruiting efforts and internet recruiting sites. Kaning may Nemo, jobstreet.com, so that's part of it. Kaning employer-based websites. Uh, when you go to Google, like for example, ganahan mo mga pulay sa Jollibee, na yun ay website ang Jollibee dito. You are going to search Jollibee Argao, so na dito makita if there is a vacancy sa uh, kwan like for example kung ingon sa ta o oh, MIPSA oh, murag dili kayo wala ko so far wala ko no pero mingon ta kanang mga Virginia mga ingana na ana sila dito kwas na ana sila employer based websites na makita ninyo dito ang ilahang mga vacancy okay so pas pas ra ba kwas uh, okay ra sir okay ra sir okay. sige Ako sa nang ikuhan ka para mahuman din ato. At least, ma-relax-relax na mo, no? Before nine, kailangan kayo mauntok na nanapag mo lang ikuhan. So, let's, uh, next, we have uh, increasing applicant diversity. So, uh, in, a, in the aspect of organization, no? Mingotag, increasing applicant diversity from the word diverse. So, from the word increase and from the word applicant diversity, of course, they are expecting to gather uh, mga, mga tao, no? Nga, Mas, para mas daghan ang mga 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 skills sa mga tao within the organization kay mao naging ano nga kung pananlitan ang usa ka organization ang mga tao diha mga talented daghan og mga skills so da, dako og possibility nga ang organization mulambo gyud so ang ana ang 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 kaning kaning increasing applicant diversity many organization make special efforts to recruit and under represented groups such as women and minorities Karon, uh, the good thing about that one is the woman was given an equal opportunity to men also. Magda na nga, katagaan na o trabaho, no, ang mga, ang mga babae karon, makatrabaho na po sila sa mga trabaho sa mga lalaki. And uh, as a matter of fact, they are also actively participating. 
Kelas aku ani kelas. Kelas aku ani ngapun speaker. Tempang. Okay. Pakai kuala sak aku kalau no. Kau murak smoking. Amang jo. May I request to uh, for a while? Okay. Thank you. So. Dira no uh, gitagaan of uh, before no before we are I am working in Kalahi Seeds in DSWD. So this I think this is one of the best example in increasing applicant diversity. Why? Because we are also allowing women to participate with the project nga amu anga ikandak sa community. So dili lang ingon nga mga hatag tao kana lang kana lang mga trabaho no nga para regit sa mga lalaki. At the same time, of course, we have to uh, gather people, especially mga babay and others, no? Like, for example, mga tag tomboy, mga mga les, uh, mga lesbian, mga mga bayot, na na. So, kay para na mas na sila, na, they are also human being, and I we believe, no, that those people are all also talented. So that's the purpose, no? Uh, to, to become a uh, diversified uh, organization. Uh, we have to come on, we have to gather people, different types of people. Non-traditional populations. So something mga non-traditional atong atong toki on. When traditional recruitment methods are unsuccessful, also may mga traditional. So like that no, atong uh, process, no. Many organizations look for potential applicants from non-traditional population. So dire uh na sa ubos, no? I retain gay and lesbian employees. I don't know. I don't know, class. Uh, but this is something that uh, kanabang maka maka hatag na ko o kanabang kalibong. But uh, yes, maalagina no. Even though there is already the presence of law that actually protects this kind of concerns, pero wala na siya na ko ano. Kanang kanang giingon nga word nga wala discrimination sa trabaho, class. Uh, to tell you honestly, uh, this is not to discourage you, ha? but this is the reality. To tell you honestly, class, may tabo yun na class, but it's not, it's not being done, obviously, pero may tabo yun. No? Sa agad na agay mga trabaho, class, na uh, mas preferable pa nila, nga lucky yun o babae. Na, na. Mara siguro, if you are going to ask me, sir, how sure you are, siguro out of 100%, there are... 60% of the of the system right now that we have right now is ingon ana no lucky you are siguro kung panalitan ang inyong supervisor kanang parehas sa mga non traditional na mga mga employees like for example kung bayot man or tomboy man ang supervisor at least no kay ang katong mga ingon ana nga klase pod nga mga tao matagaan og opportunity to to you know to to develop up to develop no to to become kung si tawag ani kanabang to, to be somehow no nga maka makaabot sila ana nga like maka maka saka ang ilang ranggo or else ma hire sila in a position nga matagaan sila opportunity for professional and personal growth now we have the realistic job preview so i need not to read all of this kay basig malanga na tagtama no sa realistic job preview class ingon dire no this is an honest assessment of a job so meaning to say, kinsa may mo mo kwan ani mo kandak ani realistic job review. Ah, just like for example before, no, ah before we apply sa ako ang gitrabahuan before ging na nami nga ganahan lang yata ng kasar. Are you still ah kana bang disidido nga mo apply ani nga trabaho? Do inani ha ang imong mga trabaho mo ni from time to time you can actually receive calls and concerns. Ang imong handulan whole north and whole south nga nga mga stores o niya mo ni siya yung mga problema sa stores are you still interested to apply for this job so at least they give you an honest overview about uh, what are your functions and what are the duties nga pwede ni mo ma-encounter o mga responsibilities na pwede ni mo i-encounter kaya at least mo ni siya yung usa ka dako nga makatabang kay usahin mo ang, ang mga empleyado no may ngon nga ah to o makanay but but rana basi di na tinuod or at least di hatag na they're honest to you no nga kung unsa giday ang imong trabaho diha so with that na na kay idea if you are going to continue or not so this is very important kaning realistic job preview i i i hope plus uh you will give yourself a time to read also with this para 
para nga makuan mo no ma, ma makabalo day mo ba uh, i'm just giving you the brief uh, uh explanation about the realistic job preview so we have the employee selection techniques so first uh the, the very famous we have the employment and interview so the purpose what is the purpose of interview so nadre uh purpose of interview is for you to get an information from the applicant okay so the interview also itself has uh kinigitawag no structured interview and unstructured nating two classifications also when we say structured interview of course it it actually uh applies kinigitawag nitong an organized way of conducting interview from the word structured interview no could be maguna siya una una kay uh preliminary interview no so no second pwede mo ka interview ho ikaduha no after taking the exam kaning ang structured interview class ang um, kaning uh, ang structured interview dili na siya magsubay no like for example kaning ang example sa structured interview ning siya tell me something about yourself and uh, pas pas din kay kamo tabi i am Juan de la Cruz i live in Kamangahan ana no Nga, imo gyud nang ikuha dito even imo educational attainment na no, nya. Kanita sa unstructured interview was na mga ingon an ni class especially when to conduct unstructured and structured interview. Sa arita sa structured interview class, normally mahitabo ni siya sa katulang mga lower position. Na no, say lower position. Kana mga entry level class like for example, if bag-o pa kang graduate or ingon an na no, uh, in a nor aside from bag-o kang graduate, like for example, kung mga apply ka og kanang bagir apply ka pag cashier or so on and so forth so this is very famous the structured interview pero kung mga apply na ka o mga higher position class uh, you you will be surprised why because kaning sa unstructured interview class magkuha man sila magpick man sila question they need not to ask you uh, a lot of questions about yourself kay ang kanang mga mga managers class when they are going to conduct interview ila na nang memorize ang name kani si pulano ni si pulana ni ditso na lang ta direkta kay gamay gamay ra man ni sila no especially kung mga higher position na ang mga 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 apply mo gamit sila ang structured interview so ningon dire no yeah, ningon dire nga free to ask anything they want so are not required to have consistency if what they ask if each applicant and may assign numbers or points at their own discretion so kanang mingon sila diri no nga mingon ra sila diri no nga how are you going to rate yourself out of 10 ah so this is careful sad mo ani no if you can encounter this type of no, any answers that is kana bang pwede siya nga mahimo ni mong sikyat automatically you will be eliminated with the sa man sa pagka candidate sa trabaho so this is very crucial i also consider this one as a very crucial part kaning ani uh the research is clear that highly structured interviews are more reliable and valid than interviews with less structure so this is according to research. Now we, we are going to tackle about the style. So the style of an interview. Natin kita wagrig one on one interviews. We have serial interviews, return and one on one interviews. So there is the presence of an HR uh, who conducts interview and also the interviewee. Mingo tayo serial interviews, of course, uh, the person or the applicant will experience a series interview. Well, the HR manager might interview an applicant at 9. Yeah, the department supervisor interviews. Like, for example, as ang usang example, ano yung mga apply mo o call center, di ba? Serial interview man ang call center. After ni mo, ano yun, mahuman ka, ano? Tell me something about yourself, about pahuwat to na po ka, no? Taod, taod. So, that is one example. Kaning return interviews, uh, it's mura siya og similar to serial interview, but the difference is tagaan kanila og paano kanabang ninyo nga passing of time between the first and the subsequent interview. Like, for example, uh, 
sige, kadyot sa ha, kanang mo mo kwa lang mini mo sir mo message lang mini mo no i will just message you for the schedule so mo na ilang ingon so meaning to say you're going to return for an interview again so it could be a week or it could be on another day no any panel interviews have multiple interviewers asking questions and evaluating answers at the same applicant at the same time so sa panel interviews they are going to ask questions. Uh, we experienced this one before when we are applying during the time that I apply here in Cebu Technological University. Uh, 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 they used panel interview interviews. So with that, panel And uh, they can do questions any questions to evaluate the applicant and group interview have multiple applicants answering questions and there is a group interviews of first dungan na kay mga kadungan no ang 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 interview Dagan kayo mga kadungan. So, I, yeah, there comes Mr. Padro. No, nga, ang answer na ko, uh, our, uh, who becomes sub, the subject for the What is it? Wala so, ko sir. Uh, please tell me class if na kuan ba ko class na chapi ba ko wa. Chapi sir. Wala chapi. ko class. Kaniya sir kaniya. Ah uh, pero karon madungga na. Madungga na ko karon class. Madungga na sir. Kalit ug down ang connection na nun siya. Sige. So sa group interviews class, monoton, no? there are lots of mga uh, applicants na uh, uh, simultaneously Sir, wala ka, sir. Wala ka, sir. Ibalhin ko rin si Seth o location. Lift man lagi ah. Di katkat ko rin sa library. Sa taas me. Di tag signal. Umanay mong may George Uban? Sa taas me. Katong activity 8. Oo. Wala po may wala pa na ako kasugde. Riya ta. Huwag, saan mo ang tubay? Ito yung motion sensor may sa? Oo, motion sensor o buzzer. Huwag na siya, may detect nga sensor muli. Huwag to siya may. Ako mo kuwan? Hindi siya. 
kung maka-detect siya motion kay mo mo tingog ang buzzer. Ah, uh, kay wala ko to katiwa sa discussion ni Sir Gahapon. Wala man gani mi kay nagproposal ba ya mi. Wala wala ang signal gahapon. Yo. Nagproposal gani mi o pamilya. Ana karon taon taon. Kay kay nara ko sa katulad ka sa buli gani may tikolas. Mo chat lang ko. Gigi. Chat lang ko nimo. Gigi. Kay nara ko sa buli ga. Gigi. Kutasan pa to seron. <laughs> Alas utso naman go daghan ni connect wifi sa eskwelahan. Daghan na gyud ron. Eh, ting klase na. Okay. Hello class. Hello sir. Ah, uh, madunggan ako class. Madunggan ako sir. Ako sa inyo. Nawala jud kalit ang signal ako. Okay. So can I continue class para makuha ang tanong? Nawala ako kuan. Diin ko napita dito ko sa group interview no. Yes sir. Okay, uh, may I request everybody to uh, may I request everybody to please uh allow sa ko turn off sa inyong kwantas para mapaspas ko. Anyway, if there is a problem please uh i open lang po yung kwan. Ina lang ko ko sa kay para nga mahuman ni nato no. So we have the mediums, no, the face-to-face -face interview. So that's coming from the world itself. I know nga nasabta naman niyo. Face-to-face, of course, mo na pinaka-traditional na to nga mabuhat sa when it comes when 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 an HR conducted an interview. Tele telephone interview is an a type of interview that uh kind of over the phone. This is an interview that uh, be, uh being conducted over the phone. Video conference uh, interviews. Uh, most of the company especially katong mga company nga mga tag dinagko no kan mga foreign nga mga company uh they prefer video conference especially right now nga nata sa pandemic so mo sila but uh by the use of video conference ang sistema sa pag interview and a written interview is involved the applicant answering a series of written questions and then sending the answers back to regular mail or email so uh this is not Dili kayo na siya famous no dili sa tua. Most likely kaning written interview is katong mga mga foreign nga mga countries na ani sila. Problems with unstructured interview. So naa sa mga problems no about unstructured interview. So we have number one, poor intuitive ability. So interviewers often base their hiring decisions on gut reactions. So money is unstructured, diba? We have the two, two classifications of interviews, no? the two types, sorry, two types of interview. We, we have the unstructured and structured. So ang problem sa structured is more money for unstructured, for intuitive ability. So gut reactions or our intuition. So however, people are not good at using an intuition or predict behavior. Research in indicates, so that human intuition and judgment are inaccurate predictors of a variety of factors ranging from future employee success to the detection of deception. Tino o, no? Mo nag-iingo, no? Nga, kanabang, the minds, no? Or whatever will be your thoughts, somehow, no? It can be deceiving. Mura ka o malipat na kaana, no? Kay, o sa mo, God, pinakakamon sa tao, mo judge na mga da according sa, o siya itong nakita na na may uban ng mga potential ng mga tao nga, who knows, no? Like, for example, if there is someone who arrived in that particular office, in, in the office that you have, no? Nya, tungod kay pubri lang git siya, wala siya inindot kay nga mga sinina, are you going to judge the person as a person who is, ano, parang, ah, hugawan man siya, inana, di lang dyan pwede ang tao, basig pubri, no? So, why not asking or why not uh, have giving the person a chance no, to express himself? Basig basin dahil daghan ka siya o abilidad, no? Well, number two, lack of job relatedness. Tinood, no? Uh, instead of instead of asking questions that is coming from the job analysis, balik tas job analysis, no? Coming from the job analysis, no? Nya, ang tao, uh, mag-share ang tao, mag-share ang tao, 
Ang kaya mong ipangutahan lang sa tao, it's not re- relevant, no? it's not related to, to the, the future functions that he is about to perform. Or ang, ang imong ipangutana is something about his life. Uh, could that be uh, valid no? for you to judge the person about to judge about the qualifications of the person? So of course it's not it's not good also. That is lack of job relatedness. So the primacy effect. It's only primacy effects so some research you know, indicates that information presented prior to the interview of early the interview carries more weight than does information presented later in the interview. So, sa primacy effect, it has been suggested that interviewers decide about a candidate within the first few minutes of an interview. So, in fact, a group of uh, personal professionals said, as 24% said, they can make a decision within the first five minutes of an interview. So, there is a primacy effect class uh, to make the long story short, suggest yana as much as possible, you have to do good. You have to make make the interviewer impressed in the first impression. Can get first impressed in the first impression. It's because it really matters most. You know, whatever would be the things that you said earlier really matters or weights a lot compared to the second round again or the second time again. So mo na uh, sa primacy effect ibuhos mo lahat no mo na giingon og sa vaccine pa ibuhos mo lahat Kay ano ig ana na ikaduha na mo na mo na sa medyo laay na because uh, this is the reality O sa hay mong god uh, ug unsa itong nadunggan pag sinugdanan mo na man ato ang makuha no especially kung daghan kayo nga mga aplikante So mo na nga uh, you have to be very Somehow, you have to be very careful. What is the contrast effect? Oh, we have number four. With the contrast effect, the interview performance of one applicant may affect the interview score given to the next applicant. From the word itself, contrast. Meaning to say, like for example, if gisaput, no? like for example, ang ikaw na akas, ikaw number five. Uh, actually, ten mo kabuk ng apply. Pag sinugdanan, one to four, uh, Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, nindot kayo. Pag ika-4 ika nga, nga ang interview ang ika-upat, bakit kayo ang ihang kung ano? Bakit kayo ang kung ano? Gisapot ang HR, kaya bastos kasi yung style. Or like, for example, bastos siya, walang kamanners manners So, ang ikalima, may possibility, no, nga, kay dili biya makaprocess da yun ang emotions sa usa katao, especially kung naglagot si ato. So, muna siya nga, ma, whether you like it or not, masugot kag sa dili, Ma- makuan juga, no? maapiktahan juga. There is a possibility. Anyway, uh, it depends on the person who is in charge to conduct an interview. Pero dilip magigit parehas tana, no? but this is just coming from the research. Ang gitawag ko contrast effect. Na na possibility nga uh, ma- madamay jud ang the rest. Na most likely, ang katong naasi ikawalo, ika na, ika na po, wak na, dilip na to sila, ayo ma- matagaan o tagat, kaya magmahug, nagdalik-dalik. And I even experienced this one before. No nga, sa kadaghan ako gi-applyan class, I, I actually experienced this uh, contrast effect. No nga, after sila nakakuha o katong mga potential kayo nga mga nindot kayo mga educational attainment in terms of trainings, in terms of experience, wala na. No? Sa amua nga, the rest, mura na lang siya o for compliance purpose nga ilaham yung gitagaan o kung ba, courtesy ba, sa among pagpang-apply. Pero, It's no longer mara kami mara wala na may dili ba. Oh na among na feel kay dali dali na okay tell me something about yourself ningon din na right after ni tell ko sa ah okay so what did you do about this one ya yeah. okay uh see sir thank you so much for your time we will just call you back for the response ano ba or kung sa man among feedback about your the result of this ana ba mo na lang gikuan so it's no longer ano wala na ho it's hopeless So you ha- find another job na sad. Next, we have negative information bias. What is negative information bias? Negative information apparently weighs more heavily than positive information. Mula nga, mura ba kita ba, no? May ngunin ta nga, ikaw ba? Ikaw ba, Lenora? Hindi na ni Mayo yung mga Lenora da. Ay mo nabantayan, nangakuan na yung pirmin sala. Mura gula na yung nabuhat ko ni mga maayo. Pirmin lang ka matinundong sa akong mga sala. Hmm. So, muna siya. 
nga ang kaning negative information bias of course when you say something like for example kung tan on mo nga why what is the reason why did you left your previous job ningon ka uh, actually i have a boss that is kwan kana ah, very very strict he's not supportive actually kuan kay siya ana no murag imong gichismis ba imong boss that's a no 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 as much as possible uh you have to uh you, you have to make everything very clean and smooth no na uh, murag wala kay damayon because that is somehow no that is something na pwede nila hunahunaon nga ah ingon ani din siya nga empleyado so siguro no na possibility if i were if i am going to hire this person inani po ni siya dire so that is an uh, negative information bias it seems to support the observation that most job applicants are afraid of being honest in interviews for fear that one negative response will cost them their job opportunities yes and that is definitely true mo na may ingon no somehow we have our you know natay mga hinanaing no like for example if na kay previous job nga bati kay kag experience bati kay kag experience ito in terms of management uh they are lack of support na uh, they're not that supportive na in terms of mga salary ana pero uh you have to keep it all by yourself kay mo na no sa hay na possibility mo sang mahugog that can be an a factor for you to become disqualified next we have interviewer interview similarity kani may katawanan no i mean when uh, i experienced this one before na nang apply nang dagana experience ni mo sir sa yes uh, that's that's definitely true i won't deny it no siguro ko as mingon ko og more than 100 times ko nangita nang apply class more than 100 times ko naka encounter og mga interview naka encounter og mga like unsa pa na no so kuan uh, ang kaning interview interview is similarity ang ah, experience ani kas katawanan kayo nag nagkandak og interview while gaon ang gaon ang TV karon class kay kaya nagkun man ang TV na mura championship man to sa Cavaliers sa una o oh. uh, Cleveland Cavaliers championship sus so, karon class kaning ngon bitong ah di kana kana kuan kay Ray Irving kana nya ning ngon ni tan-aw na naputol ang mura naputol ang ang moment sa interview no kay mura na na, na kuan ang ang kaning ang attention na catch sus so, karon class ni ingon din ah ganahan sa day ka ni kuan ganahan sa day ka ni kay Ray Irving oh kuan na na siya ni ana po tong tong interview ba ni tabi po tong interview ah ni mga gamisingisi na silang dua na ni proceed gid sila no proceed okay ah proceed na proceed another question niya murag nakita gid ako awa na ah only to know pag tan ano ko paan din na hire gid tong tao hire gid to siya ako Siguro no na ani siya nga factor kaning interviewer interviewee similarity the personality the attitude the gender the race or the preferences wala man appeal dire na but the preferences also can be a factor like for example uh, Arita's personality uh, mingo ni nang isa I like this person because easy he is uh, kanang an easy go I can I will never find it so hard to you know to Tana lang to communicate with this person case. Kuha naman siya, no? Ano ba ang dali ra siya? Murag pareha ra ni ubatasan. Uh, number seven, we have interviewee appearance. No, kung saan interview appearance? Of course, class, no? Kani, importante kani siya, the, your appearance. Mayingon kani, class, o mayingon, di ba? Ang namin dress code, no? Ano, pang-apply mo na na siya mga dress code. If you're going to apply a blue-collar job or kana ba mga mga trabaho nga naa sa mga office, so you have to dress up like naa ka sa office magkuan ba karon mag long sleeve ana no for formality magdepende man sa tong apply nga trabaho ko if nag require man sila og pulo pulo ra no ah kani interview appearance you have to you have to ku ano you have to dress up also nga magtarong sa nimo no nga ang imong buhok so it, it should be properly groomed even your fingernails nya uh, other than the kaning interview appearance class, na po ni class, it's a no-no to eat bubble gum. Okay? Since we're talking about appearance, no, it's a no-no to eat bubble gum during interview. Ngayon, uh, naka-experience ko ano this one before. Nga siya na interview kay ika, ika upat siya. Nagkaon siya bubble gum. Nisood siya dito. Nagkaon pa siya bubble gum. 
it's a no no huh it's a no no good as much as possible you have to make yourself very presentable wala na kay kangkaon na babulga mura kag kanding no nga gusto ko sa babulga it's a no no okay we have the non verbal cues no uh, it's not obvious always no that a person uh pakita siya ba nga kaning non verbal cues kas mo siya mga tanaw dili man siya ma masulti maliktok sa pulong pero sa pinaagi sa buhat imong ipakita uh ay siksi kayo ang HR nga mag-interview nimo nya uh, ni barog man ang HR si kag tan sa iyang legs example ana kwasa so those are mga cues nga it's no no jud kayo man ay baka hog nga ma-disqualified ka other than that uh, putting your hands on the table imo ibutang ang kamot nimo sa table nga kana magduk-duk duk 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 ka magana-ana kasi imong kamot magduk duk ka stable while the interview ka it's a no no jud no di gina siya bawal kay na siya or else baron ang imong kamo ang imong tuhod imong i kung siya tawag ka na, like, that's a way, that is a master vision, but a master vision is not at all times associated with sex. A master vision can be, siguro nangalay ka, so you make yourself, uh, in order for yourself to become stimulated, yung yung uyog, yung tuhod. Ang uban po, due to tensions. Pero as much as possible, dili na niyong buhaton. That are, ko ano, for formality purpose. Kani mga non-verbal cues. I will leave Leave it to you also not to read more about ato. Yeah, pero it's the same idea as what I just uh, mentioned. Next, we have uh, creating a structured interview. Taas, taas, you know? So to create a structured interview, information about the job is obtained. So there must be the presence of job analysis. And questions are created that are designed to find out the extent to which applicant skills and experiences match those needed to successfully perform the job. Now we have the clarifiers. So, ang qualifiers allow the interviewer to clarify information in the resume. May ingon man saan yun, okay, this is to clarify. You mentioned a while ago. So, in that sense, ang gibuhat sa interviewer is yung gi-clarify. If nabay mga certain informations or mga gaps between the words or the information you shared. Now, nagitawag rin nung nga, Disqualifiers. So these are the questions. No, at mga tungging ngon niyo ganihan. No, ang katong babaw, those can be a ground also for you to become disqualified. Sa kani pang disqualifiers, there are questions also being raised. Like for example, mga tana ko niyo class, mga ngon ko niyo nga. Kana bang? How do you see yourself five years from now in this organization? Ah. So, kana that is also a disqualifier class. If if one moment that you cannot actually answer that one properly and you cannot be able to justify your reasons, kana you will be disqualified. Ah, okay. Sa ato pa kanin din toh na dili dika ni siya ko ano dili dika ni siya kung gihan kay mo orman iya panlantos yung pagaling mo. Okay. So it's it depends upon on you on how you are going to justify that one. Next we have skill level. Uh, determine your staff and interviewer's level of expertise. Uh, if I will, if I will to give you uh, uh, a score of ten, uh, if I were to give you uh, one hundred percent, how are you going to rate yourself? Ah, uh, na, hundred, hundred. I, I will rate myself ninety-nine percent. Ah, char, no confident tayo. But that that depends on you, no? Imo na justify nga why 99% because I do believe that every person there's always an opportunity for learning and uh, no one is perfect so I am very much open to accept challenges for uh, in order for me to grow as a person ah riyawa no uh, anyways it's all up to you no kung sao na ninyo basta that's something I will be you know I would I, I will be glad uh, to share to you siguro no sa to adre sa sa kinalasa no uh, aray na ta sa dapit sa finals uh, if if na time no uh, as much as possible siguro i am going to conduct uh, punuhay lang ba mag mag interview kuno ko ninyo on how nya mag critiquing din ta no para kuan siya no para naasig nasinindot nya kuan ba next we have future focused questions so tani no ah uh, Katong gikwa no like kaning sa future focus question like for example if you are a supervisor mingon uh if you are a supervisor and there is 
that someone no nga naasa mong downline nga nagpabadlong how are you going to resolve the problem okay ah uh, mo na siya that is a future focus no if, if ever you are a supervisor and ana ba that is an example of that na how are you going to resolve the problem dila nila makita ang imuhang professionalism at the same time ang imuhang way on how to resolve the problem Next, we have the past focused questions. Like, for example, Mingon, what are the experiences that you have in the past? Have you have, have you experienced this one before? And you said, yes. Now, how did you resolve those problems? Ah, so, mana siya. Next, we have organization of it question. So, tap the extent to which an applicant will fit into the culture of an organization. If I were to hire you, or what are the things, or what are the, uh, what, what will be the things that you can promise to us, or that, what are the things that you can guarantee to us no, nga, to contribute for the organizational success? Ah. So, mona siya, no? Organization, organizational fit questions. Na adi request, no? Ah, na yung mga example request, reference and letters of recommendation. So, na reasons for using reference and recommendations, confirming details on resume, Checking for discipline problem, discovering new information about the applicant, predicting future performance. Um, the reference and letters of recommendation, reasons for using references and recommendations. So I will just leave it to you, you know, to read about it. And we have test on applicants' knowledge. So the job knowledge tests are designed to measure how much a person knows about a job. So now these tests are similar to the exams given several, several times a semester in a college class. So like for example, uh, it can be done in a multiple choice fashion for ease of scoring, but they can also be written easy format. Pwede po easy or oral in a job interview. So this is the question, how far have you learned? Like for example, just like me, uh, during the time that I was applying for an HR, now what are the, the things or what are, what are the trainings that you experienced during your OGT time? Or during the your internship, uh, money, money, siya. These are the things that I do. Ana, no? Ara na nila makita. And it has to be organized. Dilayin on grumble, grumble as much as possible when you are going to to deliver, especially if that particular position you're applying for, uh, would uh determine the knowledge that you have or the knowledge that you acquired during your education. Kinanglan, it has to be properly kwan po uh, pagka deliver dili ganingon nga baga rambul rambul no uh, that is also to give good impression sa inyo nga interviewer a uh, inter oh uh, yes interviewer so test on applicant's ability so there is ability naman eh no uh, to test the ability there's ability tests are used primarily for patients in which applicants are not expected to know how to perform the job at the time of hire. Instead, new employees will be taught the necessary job skills and knowledge. So, um, it can also be done through simulation. Pwede, no? Uh, test on applicant skill. Ara nila makita kung unsa ka, if you are those type of person that is highly trainable or not. They are the work sample, with a work sample, applicant performs a core job-related task. For example, applicant for a job as automotive mechanic might be asked to fix a turn fan belt. Mingo tag turn fan belt, gisi, no? How to change work sample. Sige ko, no, please demonstrate to me how to change the fan belt. No, you see that it was already turned. And then I want you to change that one. So, mo na yung button. You are going to demonstrate. Assessment centers. So, assessment center is selection technique characterized by the use of multiple assessment methods that allow multiple assessors to actually observe applicants perform simulated simulated job tasks. So, dili. Ilakang ano ano? Ilakang ilak ilakang tanawon. You're going to perform just like sa babaw. You're going to demonstrate. So, anakalay sa assessment is, of course, from the word itself, assist. They are going to critic, no? To 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 criticize or kung dili man criticize, they are going to correct you from unsa may mga factors that are needed to be improved, ala or unsa may mga potentials. They they are going to give you praises kung panalita nindut kayo pagka execute, na na. Those are the assessments and the functions of. Assessment centers. 
So, nasa sa assessment centers, taas gani kay class na nai daen basket technique, no? So, during the assessment center, samples of job-related paperwork are placed in a basket. So, job applicants is asked to go through the basket and respond to the paper as if they were actually on the job. So, I'll just leave it to you, class, no? To read about this. We have simulations which can include such diverse activities as role plays and work samples. So, simulations, mga ito, ganiyan, no? Nga. Pasulayun mo, no? Expose. And then we have leaderless group discussions. Of course, from the word leaderless, you are being gathered into a group, but uh, everyone are equal. No one should act like a leader or no one is being appointed as a leader. So, ang, ang purpose, Anna, is for you to mag-brainstorm mo, no? Brainstorming. Mag, kung di mag-brainstorming, you are going to communicate with each other about uh, the strategies to be done. Business games are exercises that allow the applicant to demonstrate such attributes as creativity, decision making, and ability to work with others. Okay. So I think uh, that was all. No? Uh, do you have a question so far, class? Any clarification? I think I just made it very, ano, very pas pas. <laughs> but. Uh, Yes, uh, do you have a question, class, so far? Hello? Wala ra, sir. Wala ra, sir. More review lang uh, is recorded, okay. sir, in case of... Uh, sige, class. Uh, I know, no, this is uh, very easy for you. <laughs> yeah. If if no questions, sige lang no, I I will still uh, entertain questions. Ah, uh, naman kay questions so far. Kay para makapahuway pud mo no. Uh, I think we're happy na gyud. Ako ra man i-post pud class ang akong video for you to to uh, to revisit and review no from time to time. Katoning sa booklet nga so far, emoji send any concern? Ang yung mag-discuss ah, ka rin, sir. Ah, na dito sa inyo siya. kay... Mahal niya, ma'am. Kay, while nag-discuss ka, sir, ah, kay, kung magod, ka nawala ang imong kung ba, shared screen. Amo ba? Yes, sir. Nag-message ko niyo sa inbox, sir, niya. Wala na niyo na note, sir, ba? Pero, okay naman, sir. Namina o ramini mo? Alam mo, o ba di ay? Ah, sige, naaman ni siya kuhan plus workbook, no? Katong gihatay na ko ninyo. Anyway, gamay naman lang kayo ito. Murag, I think, mga 12 kabuk, kuhan, mga inputs, uh, kuang gi kuhan, mag-discuss. Naara ni sa inyo, kuhan, if you have a question, uh, pwede na ito, no? Maraise, uh, ba, ba, makuhan, pwede nyo yung ma-address sa kuhan, no? At any time. Ha? Para, kung, kung namay, kuhan, ba, namay pangutan na siya, naglibog po atong kuhan, sir, kung sila, kalayaan na ba? No? Pwede rin, no? Plus, Wala man na yes, rin. Yes, sir. Copy, si sir. Si Mang Jopin na man siguro itaw. Wala. <laughs> ako din, sir. Tag-goon ko ba? Lagi, ma'am. Uh, lagi, ma'am. Bilyarik ka. Napad eh. Kung ba, lagi, wala. Lagi, gigapis-pis lang ang gining uba na. Na-slim na. Si Misa Loba, la. Like, nanguan ako. Sana nga, na, na, siya na, 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 nanguan na, nampiling na. Ah. Uh, Ah, sige na class lang ako nang ikuha na para makakaon po mo class. Ay no, butong kayo mo. Ako, ibutong niya ako class. Wala siya pamahal sir. Eh, taong sa dahil mo. Baka pa pamahal din. Sir. Papamahawon ka mo? Pwede na sir. Baka na ba? Proceed. Proceed lang daw sa kantin eh. Ilis lang sir. <laughs> Tuo yan, sir. <laughs> Beta, uh, sige, class, no? uh, thank you so much no, for your time and effort exerted this morning. Uh, I, I do really appreciate it. Yeah. Mga lang to, class, no? Uh, may question. Mo, question no? Ako tamo. Uh, so, miss? Kanang, mag, kano sa itong midterm, sir? Kung ano, kuno, miss, most probably by next week, kuno. Ako. Oh. Abi na ko maulat mm -hmm. yung midterm na to. Apay na to sa midterm ah, sir. Ang katong ko answer? 10 item? Really? 
Oh, midterm ko ano na to? Exercise, exercise na ano to sa midterm. Sige lang kasi yun nung lang ako midterm eh, mo kabalaka no. Mas lisod pa siguro tong prelim. Tayo na lang sir, okay. Oh. Again. Kala ti utok sir, maawa ka. Kala ti ah. utok sir. Sige, sige. Mahal na kay utok rong panahon na. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, pa na kaayo dire sir. Abi na kog, abi na kog ang bugo ray kas, eh. kas ang bugo. <laughs> Nabo ray kas utok. <laughs> Karas po tawag utok, sir, uy. Uy, pagkatinood lang biya. Kaya pagkatinood biya, kas na, daghan na kayo kong uban, kas. Uh, wala na ko na-notice, no? Uh, to think, <laughs> I am, I am, I am 25 years old, so daghan na kayo kong uban. Kung sa, sir, 25? Sir? Oo. Kaya naman, natawa mo, kas. Magagugol lagi kayo mo. Tarong ko, sir. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Tanawa ko. Tanawa, tanawa ko noon ninyo, natawa ko 1994. Oh. Mo 26 na ko. Kamo so, ba inyo yung tiguan ug dali na. No, may tiguan na ko, plus. Sige mo gumo pa badlong. Di ta ka sa Ah, anyway, no para magkakaon mo plus. Sige, uh, thank you so much, class. Uh, God bless. Yeah. Please message me ha katong mga like concern. Class. Yes sir. Sige. Thank you. Hey, class, uh, thank you so much. Have a great day everyone. Ay, time pa rin mag picture sa ko class. Ay, kan si ko, wa ko documentation. Kadyat, kadyat sa kay class ha. Tay na. <laughs> bangon, bangon. <laughs> bangon, bangon. Bang. Ano? Ano patay naman? Nagigda pa sir. Eh, nangulos. Ah, sige. Nangatong ko na siguro yung uba, no? Ikan niya kayo sila. Sige. Ano, ah. Nihinapa yung si Jubin, eh. <laughs> Salamat kayo ninyo, Kwas. God bless everyone. Have a great day. God bless, sir. Sige. Ako na niyo, Kwas, ha? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Ayay. Ay. Baka pananda ang dana. <laughs> Hey class now, thank you. Ah, uh, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, break na. Bye bye, mga bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ayoko na dal. Ayoko. Pangilampos na mo on. Pangilampos na. Pangilampos na. Panglimog mo.